All right, the clutch is stuck on our G. Alice Chalmers. So we gotta take it apart and put a clutch in it. And also the bell housing that the clutch is in, the, um, there's a bolt hole broke out that where you mount the rear cultivators. So we got another one of those, we're gonna replace it too. So the first thing we gotta do is take the hood off and uh, drain, the drain the water out and then pull the motor off. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of that. I've got the fender off, the toolbox off the other side, and um, got the hood off. That's what the top of the motor looks like. The next thing we gotta do is uh, pull this motor off the back of the tractor, so we're gonna see if we can do that now. We've got the engine left here and we're gonna wrap the chain around this uh, fan shaft on the top and see if we can get the motor pulled off. out of the motor. So we're gonna see if we can pull the motor Sorry. off of the back of this tractor. I'm a little scared. Yeah, you don't wanna pick up too much so yeah. you need to I know. slide it out. Yep. What about if we took a screwdriver and wedged it in between the... Did we do that last time? I almost time? think we did that last time. Let me see the other side over there. I'm just gonna leave it on just a little bit. Okay. Well, you, you're about doing something there. Yeah. Can you get that in there and pry a little bit while I I'm am frying, yeah. Okay. There it goes, there right there, go. right there, okay. All right. Let's see. <laughs> we need to come straight back, I reckon, a little bit. To yeah. Let me see if I can pull it straight back. That linkage has got. Is the linkage coming out, Thomas? Um, it is now. Oh, what? Something happening. Okay, if you can come on some more, just got tight on the linkage. Okay. Did you get it? Yep. Okay. Still got some to come. Just a little bit more <laughs> to get that linkage. Um, that linkage is going to have to come off. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. I can't come to the far back. All right, well, we're, we're good now. <clears throat> Let me. Okay. I got to have a pair of those pliers. Okay. We got them motor pulled off of this thing and got it just hanging from the engine lift here's the clutch oh yeah i'm curious to see what that thing condition it looks like it's in yeah the clutch was stuck so we're going to try to figure out what was wrong with it. we got a new one to put on it And you can see 
where the uh, a lot of wear. Yeah, there's a lot of wear where the throwout bearing goes against these fingers here. And I guess that's probably because the clutch was stuck or wore out or for some reason. That one looks like it's not adjusted the same amount that yeah. one is somehow. Almost. Maybe not. So we're going to replace this clutch first. <laughs> yep. And then we've got to replace the bell housing. We got the new clutch on and uh, adjusted the fingers or whatever you call them. Um, we had a little trouble with the torque wrench, so we, we just guessed on the tightness, but uh, should be okay. And yeah, should be okay. So yeah, we adjusted the fingers on the table. We didn't realize they were gonna push them in whenever we put it on here, so we had to readjust them. On the, on the motor. So the next thing we gotta do is work on getting this old bell housing off so we can uh, drill the hole in the new one and get it on there.
we got the old bill housing off. Cut a template for this thing with the plasma cutter so we can uh, see where to cut the hole. And we're going to see if it fits and see if it's right. It's off just a little bit. Okay. Of course, we, gotta, we really need to grind it for Yeah. But we'll see. That is pretty close. Pretty close, yeah. Yeah. I think if those holes were just a little bit bigger, <laughs> you slide over those it studs, would line up, line enough, up to enough to work. To do it, yeah. I think. Yeah. Here's our template that we cut. We got it on the new bell housing. All right, there's where we got to drill the hole. We cut another one that's got a smaller hole that we so we can center the drill bit better. Um, we had to wall out these holes just a little bit to get it to fit, but we're thinking this is going to be close enough for that hole to be right. Uh, this bolt started. We got a dirt dauber nest in there we got to clean out, and we're going to clean it out and see if we can get a bolt started in there, and if we can get a bolt started in all four of them, it should be pretty good. And we put the template on here, and it lined up where that to we go through the hole in the template, so we're thinking it's going to be pretty good. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to drill this hole. Um, we got our template on here. And we've got our drill. So hopefully it'll go good. And I'm gonna set the camera up here and do the other some drilling. But we're sure hoping it's going to be right. <laughs> All right, we got the hole drilled and I got the pipe in it, so we're going to see if we got the thing lined up good. Let's 
position or something. You gotta come. There we go. Guess what? Those studs might be bigger on this one than they. I believe they are. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe wait. not. Need this rubber mallet. Yeah, I do. Hmm. You're bad for that. Do you get one? Yes, There is something you don't quite right somewhere. Okay, so. Um. Has it not came up on the shoulder on this, or does it have to do with the pipe? There it goes. There we go. I think. I think it's going to work. I think it will. I believe. Well, that's, I tell you what that's good. All right, we're going to put the bell housing back on the tractor now.
we've got to where we can uh, crank it, we think. We got most oil, and you still got a little bit more pour in it, don't you? I think it's full. Okay, well, oil's full then. I think it's full. Think it's full. <laughs> um, we've got some antifreeze in it, but we've had a leak. So uh, we're going to have to fix that, but we can do that a little bit later. And uh, we've got to pour some gas in it, and then it should be ready to crank. I might have to pour a little bit more in it than, than this, I don't know. Well, we had to wind up pulling the motor off again. Um, we've got to adjust these fingers out just a little bit. We didn't get them out quite far enough and uh, you can't mash the clutch far <laughs> enough to take it completely out of gear. Even though we did it by the... Even though we measured like the manual said. So we're gonna run those out probably a quarter of an inch and then stick the motor back on. Hopefully, we've got it <laughs> fixed now. We're still gonna have to do some fine tuning on it. And we just gotta finish putting it back together. Um, so I think I'm gonna quit video and working on it. And then maybe get a little video of driving it around in, in the videos. <laughs> <laughs>